Oh my god, hold on. It's so dark. Oh Jesus. No, I'm hideous. Focus on the hideousness. Unfortunately. Good morning, YouTube. Um, so today I'm just gonna be vlogging and showing you guys what I do in a day of the life of a quarantine YouTuber. Like <laughs> why my voice got so deep? Like I know it's already deep, but quarantine a quarantine YouTuber. Anyways, so I just woke up. Um I actually just want to lay back down and go to sleep. But I told myself that I was gonna be productive today and do some stuff. So since I'm vlogging, I guess I'm gonna force myself to get up. So I'm gonna go like brush my teeth and wash my face and all of that and um take Fendi outside after I do that. So I use two different two uh, toothpastes to brush my teeth. So I use this one first, and I use this toothbrush. And be like sometimes it leaves behind black residue. And of course you can rinse it out and stuff. But this is my favorite toothpaste. I actually need to buy some more today. And it's the Crest Radiant Mint Three White. I've been using this toothpaste for about six or seven years now. Like I've never used anything else besides this. All right, I just finished washing my face. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take Fendi outside. It's um, yes, yeah, so I don't leave this light on, so it's gonna get dark real quick. I'm gonna throw on some shoes. I already heard him barking. I know he need to go to the bathroom, so yeah. So I'm not even about to film taking him outside because if he make me drop my camera, I'm gonna give my dog back. So. I am about to eat my breakfast that I made. I mixed egg salad and avocado and then added some garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and black pepper. And it tastes really good so and fresh. So I'm gonna eat that and when I finish eating, then I'm just gonna come back. So I just finished getting ready. Show y'all a quick little OOTD. I just got on this Thrasher tee. So freaking old and so faded. But who cares? And then I got on my mom jeans from Fashion Nova. They're supposed to have a cuff in them, but I'm too lazy to put the cuff. And then I got on my black vans with the flame. You know, a little monochromatic moment with the Thrasher tea. Um, I need to go to Walmart to pick up a few things um, to keep me busy today and to do some stuff that I've been needing to work on. Um, but I don't think I'm going to vlog in Walmart because, like, you know, the whole pandemic thing. Like, I don't want them to think I'm just in Walmart playing around to get a video. Um, so, I don't think I'm going to vlog in there. Also... I need to go find a UPS store because I ordered some waist beads on um, Amazon and they jacked me. Like, first of all, look how tiny. I can't make no waist beads with that. Let me show y'all my case that I already have. What I was expecting it to be like. I was expecting it to be like this. So I'm going to put them side by side and let y'all compare. Y'all. This is mine. This is the one I ordered on Amazon. These beads are so freaking small. I was pissed. Wet thing. So y'all better be happy that, you know, because I have to turn the air off so y'all hear me good. 
So yeah, we about to just go there or whatever. The air got to come on. So y'all just gonna have to deal with it. It's hot, baby. I need to crack a window. Oh, seatbelt so we could be safe. Y'all put y'all seatbelt on. Cause y'all should. I hate that beeping noise. It literally bothers me. If I'm on the phone with somebody and they don't have their seatbelt on, I'm gonna be like, put your seatbelt on. Not even for safety reason, which I mean, that's the main reason, but like, that's not even why I'm saying it. I just hate that noise. So, yeah, I'm about to go. I'm about to back up a little bit. <laughs> Leaving out my apartment complex. All right, I just dropped off the pack. Packing the mail is gone. Like how I smell cologne. That's why the deal I'm on. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I just dropped off the package or whatever. It was so freaking easy. All I had to do was go in there and was like, hey, I'm here for this return. They, they scanned the code that they gave me when I said I wanted to return the item on Amazon. And I'm sorry, the lighting is terrible. And he was like, okay, you need a receipt. I said, no, and he said, you're good to go. So that was pretty easy. So yeah, if you think about returning something to Amazon, do it. I don't know if it works for all Amazon packages, but I know for sure for Amazon Prime because that's what I have. Get Amazon Prime if you don't have it. Like, it's a lifesaver. Oh my God, you won't be flying. I'm trying to go. So yeah, now I'm about to head to Walmart so I can get a few things. I'm not gonna take y'all in the store, but I am gonna show y'all what I bought once I get home from the store. So yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all back at home. Walmart haul. So I'm gonna show y'all what I got from Walmart. So first, I got a pack of real tips because I'm gonna make like some smother ribs and I'm gonna do like half of them barbecue in my air fryer. So that's it. Next, I got some broccoli and cheese. I could have just made this myself, but this is easier. So I just got this to go with the barbecue. When I the ones I do, that's gonna be barbecue. Then I got some cauliflower rice because y'all know I'm trying to be like all keto and stuff. So I got cauliflower rice to go with the ones that I'm gonna smother. So got that. And then I got some instant coffee because I want to do that little, um, what you call it? That little TikTok thing where they make like the phone coffee. Hmm. Crazy that I would do this when you need sugar for it. And I just say I'm trying to do keto, but whatever. So also for that, you need milk. I usually don't drink regular milk, but I did not want to buy a whole thing of uh, almond milk. And they don't sell like many things of almond milk. So I just got regular milk. All right, so it's not exactly perfect because like I don't have a whisk, nor do I have like the mixer thing. So I mix it myself, but it do look pretty. Like a lot different. You saw how dark it was at first, and this is how it looks now. So now I'm about to fix the drink. All right. Big. This low key tastes like a McDonald's caramel wrap. It's bomb. It was definitely worth the hassle. Look at my hand. It's so good though. Okay, after umpteen hours, actually it was like three hours, I finally finished cooking. I actually made two meals, but right now I'm only eating one. So I'm going to show y'all this one and then for dinner, I'm going to show y'all the one I'm eating for din din. Still got this cup up here. I need to go toss this. I'm going to make some more of this tomorrow morning, but this is my meal for the um, pork haters. I'm so sorry, but this is pork rib tips that I just cut up into little pieces. Cauliflower rice and some gravy. If your gravy don't sit over your rice like this, then you have a problem. My camera's getting all fogged up from the steam, but oh my God, 
I haven't tasted it yet, but I know it's good because I made it. So yeah, guess we gonna just eat it together on camera. We'll taste it together. I ain't about to eat it with y'all. So I'm just gonna taste it. And I've already had cauliflower rice plenty of times. To me, cauliflower rice tastes rice. Tastes like regular rice if you put the rice stuff over it. So I've never had it with a gravy. So let's hope it's good. Oh, let's pray real quick. Amen. Mm -hmm. it's definitely really good I cook the meat down a lot so it's like extra tender so good mm -hmm. I'm going to eat this and I'm going to come back and when I'm doing my next task of the day because like I'm trying to be productive today like I told y'all so I have a whole bunch of stuff that I want to do today well, I already done most of it, but like I have something else that I need to do. So, I'm not finishing. I'm going to come back and do that. Alright, so I'm back from chowing down. And now I'm about to do my next test of the day. So, if you don't know, which most of y'all probably don't. um, I started a new hobby which was making waist beads and when I posted them everybody started hitting me up like sell them sell them sell them sell them sell them so I just started a whole freaking business which I didn't really launch it yet but I posted it and like some of my close friends um my people I just know were like trying to get stuff so I was like okay well I guess I'll sell them so I have an order to make right now I have actually three beads to make um so I'm just going to doing it I'm not gonna show y'all my whole process because I want y'all to come buy mine buy them for me sweetie but have a tape measure I use stretch magic I got some um what are these called I was about to say jump rings but I don't think that's the name of this whatever these are I have these I have all my charms which I have more coming in some scissors and then I have my beads. So I'm gonna make the first one and I'm gonna come back and show y'all. Okay, 17,000 hours later, well really like two hours later, I finished my um, first order. So I just packaged it like this. I'm gonna take one out to show y'all. I'm not gonna take them all out because I just don't see the point. So here is one of them. And it's just an all yellow race bead and it has mid hands on it for my sorrows out there. So yeah, if you want something like this, then you can shop my Etsy shop and the name is The Bead Diva Boutique. I'm going to put it on the screen. Um, it has some different choices on there. Um, I'm just getting started so I don't have that many different, like that big of a variety of beads because like I don't want to invest too much and then it doesn't really take off but you know what like manifestation is everything so I do have some new colors coming in and hopefully soon I'll have more styles on the site but for right now that's what I have but check it out if you like I have different charms not just Greek charms um but mostly, of course, the Greek charms I do have are mostly Delta charms because I am a Delta. Ooh. Right now, I just finished my first order, like I said, and packaged it and everything. I'm still waiting on my shipping packaging. So, like, I haven't, um, I'm not going to, like, package it to ship it yet. I'm probably not going to send it till like, Monday. Um, but right now, I'm going to finally decorate this right here. So, I got this thing from, uh... Where did I get this from? Like TJ Maxx or something. And it goes to my room because you know like my room is like super sparkly like matches the curtains perfectly. And then I have sparkly pillows too that it matches. So oh I hope y'all can't see the mess in my room. And I also have this picture. This Hollywood picture that's sparkly as well. So I'm going to decorate this with pictures. It came with one already that says good vibes only. I just left it up because I didn't want it to be plain. I'm probably going to take that one down. Now the vibe of my room is like very subtle colors. It doesn't have like 
um bright colors in it so i'm probably gonna turn some pictures of me black and white and put that on there and then also gonna put some of the quotes from like my favorite songs and i'm gonna print them out and i'm gonna laminate them with my laminator and cut it and put them on there so yeah that's what i'm about to do right now a picture of my line sisters um this little quote that i really love it's in my instagram bio because it's so true like you need to this one so i love drake and she's just a little too perfect like i am and then my puppy fendi he's way bigger now but it's the cutest picture i have of him and then this quote and it just says jay kirk at the bottom it's my favorite rapper jonathan kirk aka the baby and it just says they left when i needed them fucked up my feelings it filled up my heart full of hatred and then scorpion album cover because this album got me through a hell of a lot i fucking love drake forever for this album i don't care what nobody says it's my favorite album drake ever put out and then i just have some pictures of me a picture of me and my mommy a picture of me when i went to the baby concert <laughs> and then just a picture of me from a youtube video i did okay i went ahead and took down the cliche one that it came with and i added all of my pictures it still looks a little empty because i didn't want it to look like too overcrowded and messy so i just try to put on sporadically like i don't even know if that's the right word but all right so it is dinner time and as promised i told y'all i was gonna show y'all what i cooked like the second meal that i cooked earlier today when i made that um like the cauliflower rice and the rib tips i also made some um a different meal for dinner so this is my dinner meal and it's just these um rib tips but i didn't cut them up like i did in the gravy i just left them whole and i did these in my air fryer and then i made some um broccoli and cheese which this is the microwavable broccoli and cheese i just added more cheese some garlic powder and a little bit of um, Himalayan salt to it and so that's my meal for tonight I'm gonna eat this and I'm gonna take Fendi out all right y'all so I ate my dinner I took Fendi out you can probably hear him drinking water right now here on the floor sniffing around fan fan tell people hey <laughs> hey bud Anyways, um, I'm kind of craving something sweet. I have some ice cream, keto ice cream. Y'all better get that keto ice cream. Like, it tastes like regular fucking ice cream. It actually tastes better to me. So, so if you made it this far, thank you so much for staying with me the whole day. I hope y'all enjoyed my little quarantine day. It was kind of busy. I got a lot of things done. And I'm probably going to continue doing these because we on quarantine. And what else can we do? Like, where the hell could you go? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, comment down below some things you want me to do for my quarantine vlog series. And yeah, that's a wrap.